This video's not made for kids, you crazy bitch ass bastard! It seems today that all you see is bouncing locomotives and stuff on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky there's a Tales of the Rails. You're lucky there's a man who positively can do all the things that make us laugh and wail. It's the Tales of the Northwestern Rails. The island of Sodor can be quite a colorful place. But aside of its beauty, some colors can be signs of different things. For example, if you've been to Netford Junction and seen its signals, as well as any signal in general, we obviously know that green means go and red means stop. On some engines, usually diesels, you'll see black and yellow hazard stripes. That would indicate, keep your distance, I'm working. Rolling stock with different colors means they have different assignments. For goods wagons, having different colors means they have different abilities that most good wagons don't. And that's what we'll find out today. It all started when Oliver arrived at Haltra and he overran the platform. Sorry, Mr. Oliver. It's my brakes. I believe the brake blocks are wearing off. Oh dear. New year, new brakes, I suppose. Tell you what, I got some trucks to take to Crovin's Gate. I could drop you off at the Steamworks, okay? Are you sure that's a good idea, sir? I can travel along the slow line if you feel comfortable. Well, I suppose that's a good strategy. Upon eavesdropping on the conversation, the new ringleader of the trucks, NCB, short for National Coal Board Truck, devised a scheme. Warmer breaks. Hum. He passed the word to the rest of the trucks. <laughs> Marvelous! We'll do it when we enter the main line. Oliver and Toad's first stop was at Arlsberg West. Picking up ballast from the Arlesdale Railway, then they had to pick up some trucks at Tidmouth Harbor and take it to Croven's Gate. The three trucks were colored in what's known as bauxite. The workmen wanted Oliver to have the bauxite wagons coupled up closest to him. Oliver complied, and the workmen arranged the train. It took a little while to couple Oliver up to the trucks, because it felt like pipes were also being connected. Once Oliver was completely coupled up, the guard blew the whistle, and Oliver departed from the harbor. This was the chance for trouble the trucks were expecting to come. And once Oliver left Tidmouth Station, no. The truck surged Oliver forward, propelling him down the main line. Oh, it's no use, Mr. Oliver. My brakes are too weak. Oliver's face ran pale. As they traversed through Napford, Molly was ahead of Oliver on the same line. The signalman changed the points, but Molly wasn't fast enough to clear the way. It was all up to Oliver now. Then, to his shock, it felt like his brakes quadrupled in strength. But would it be strong enough to stop the train? The answer was yes. Luckily, no one was hurt. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, come on! My giddy yug! Where did that come from, Toad? That wasn't me, sir. It felt like it came from the trucks. It did come from the trucks. At least the first three coupled up to you. You see, Oliver, these trucks colored in bauxite are fitted with bricks and brake pipes. 
When a steam engine puts on its vacuum brakes, air flows through these pipes and makes the trucks put on their brakes. But only if the pipes are connected to each other, including the engine. That's why we wanted the trucks with brakes closest to you, and why it took a little longer to hook you up to the train. Wow, what a tactic! A vacuum brakes, you say? Well, I guess you could say they suck! Not this badly is mine! <laughs> <laughs> So you still feel like going down the slow line? Well, I think we should get you on the flatbed first. I can use another brake bin for the time being. Smart choice, sir. They fetched the breakdown train and lifted Toad onto a flatbed to be sent to the steamworks. Oliver was in need of another brake van. So he went with this fella. I think we'll call him Jake. And with a couple minutes behind... The guard blew the whistle, and Oliver continued down the main line, feeling pretty proud and pleased to have rolling stock with the ability to put on their brakes on his command. 